With the cobbled classic season in full swing, one emerging talent tipped for big things this spring is Trek Segafredo's Mads Pedersen. The 23-year-old Dane made headlines last April when, on his Tour of Flanders debut, he became the youngest rider for 40 years to make the Ronda podium. Last season, you know, it was uh, a good season. Um, I took a step up. Uh, when we started the season, I had to, to still to, to grow a lot. Um, and I had a few hard races in the beginning uh, of, the, of the classics part. Uh, but then after, yeah, it was all Flanders and, and Flanders, uh, you know, I got some more motivation and, and it turned out to be some good results. After a fifth place finish at Tvars Dor Vlaanderen, Pedersen went into the Tour of Flanders, riding in support of teammates John Degenkolb and Jesper Stuyven. But the then Danish road race champion subsequently surprised everyone by holding off a strong group of favourites to claim second behind Nicky Terpstra. My feeling in a, in a race like this, it's it's every place, you know, when people is, is coming to a race to watch us, it's just something special. And then Flanders, it's of course the biggest race in, in Belgium, so it's really special to, to be there and feel all the spectators and, and, and feel how big a party they have and, and the, the surroundings and, and the, the pressure from the, from the spectators, it's, I like it. I think I was well prepared and and I was really motivated also to, to do good work for the team and then that day just turned out to be in, in my favour. Look at the atmosphere here. Tedemstra, oh, he's leaving the behind. That's it for Langevin. Yeah, legs have dropped off. Van Baal just started to struggle as well. Look at this though from Pedersen. Pedersen is one of the men at the minute who looks like he's been able to do it. Look at Terpstra, ah, he grits his teeth. Look at this right there from Mads Pedersen. If he isn't going to do anything today, he's a classic star of the future at just 22 years of age. If you do the races more times, you also learn how the races have been raced every year. So then you're learning all the spots and where to be in the front and stuff like this. And it's easy that Jasper John is, is telling me this before the race, but if you don't feel it on your own body, you, you don't think that, that much about it. And Nicky Tedepstra looks as though he's about to have company. It's the comeback kid, 22 years of age. Matt Pedersen comes out of nowhere and he's suddenly a force to be reckoned with again. That's Pedersen, well, he, he can take, I mean, he's got Jasper Sturven behind, but if I were him, I'd take that uh, earpiece out of my ear and just ride home and get a second place now. Podium place at 22 years of age on the Ronde van Vlaanderen. Wow. After Pedersberg, they, they were just yelling at me uh, in the radio, and, and first Dirk, he was yelling and, and tried to motivate me and, and push me, and then with four or five kilometers to go, Jasper also started behind and you know started to be in the way in, in the group. So it was, uh, I would say, teamwork uh, that day also, and, and nice that the guys behind and, and the, the staff and the sports director also believed that I actually could finish second and not told me to wait for Jasper and do the lead out for him. For the first time in 32 years, a Dutchman wins the Ronde van Vlaanderen. Quick step, 21 wins, and Terrence to the man to do it. And look at this behind. Second for Mats Pedersen at 22 years of age. On that day, I didn't actually realize what was going on. You know, I when I came over the finish line, I was so tired and, and so used, so... I actually just wanted to, to go in the bus and have a shower and then have my flight home. Uh, but the day, day after, the days after, I started to recognize that, okay, I did something big here and... Um, and it's... I put myself in a situation where people start looking at me now and expecting some more, so... 
Yeah, it was, it was definitely a special race.